This is the Goal Tracker 2.0. It will help you track your progress and achieve your goals quicker. This goal tracker is available in both Excel and Google Sheets. First, enter your goal. Next, add more details. It's really important for you to add details and be specific when setting your goal. Next, define how you will know when you achieved your goal. There will always be room to improve. So don't leave your goal open-ended. I will know I built a successful productivity blog when I have 1,000 or more email subscribers. Next, set your starting point. What date are you starting on? Are you starting from the bottom or have you already made progress towards your goal? Finally, what is your deadline? Again, it's really important to not leave your goal open-ended. Once you've added your deadline, it will show you here how many days are left until your deadline. Underneath that is where you set your tasks. These are the things that must be done in order for you to achieve your goal. For example, I need to write 10 posts to achieve my goal. The priority of this task is high, so I'll set the priority to 4. The lowest priority here is 1. Next, I'll set my starting date. Afterwards, I'll set my deadline. The deadlines are color-coded. If your deadline has passed and you still haven't achieved your goal, deadline will be red. If your deadline is within one week, the deadline will be yellow. If you finish the task before the deadline, the deadline will be green. And if you finish the task but after the deadline has already passed, the deadline will be light green. The completed and status tasks are automatically updated based on the subtasks tab, which we'll get to next. In the last column, you can add any of your notes related to this task. The next tab is subtasks. Here we have each of our main tasks, and we can break it down into smaller tasks. For example, to write 10 posts, I need to research keywords. Write the post, and edit the post. I haven't completed any of these tasks yet, so I will set them to zero. Once I complete researching keywords, I'll choose one from the drop-down menu here, and the task will be crossed out and moved to the bottom of the list. If we go back to the Goal and Tasks tab, I can see that I've completed 33% of this task, and the status of this task is now in progress. Now we'll move on to the Milestones tab. Here, I can add my milestones, then I'll set rewards to give myself once I've accomplished these milestones to keep me motivated. Say I reached 500 subscribers. I'd check this milestone off and add my accomplishment date. Now, if I scroll over here, I can see my milestone on the milestone timeline. I reached 500 subscribers on July 31st, 2019. Next is the progress tracker. In the progress tracker, I can see what percent of my goal has been completed and how much is remaining. So far, I've completed 1% of my goal with 99% remaining. I can also see what percentage of a specific task has been completed. For example, write 10 posts. I've completed one out of three subtasks, which is 33% of this particular task. Next, I can see my task duration in days. The Write 10 Posts task will take me 13 days based on my start date and deadline. The next chart is the Climb the Mountain chart. My tasks are represented by these blue dots at the bottom. As I make progress, these blue dots will climb to the top. I've completed 33% of the Write 10 Posts task, so this blue dot has moved 33% upwards. If I were to complete this task and update the chart, you can see that the blue dot reached the surface. The last tab is the Quotes tab. Here you can add more quotes to be presented at the top of the Goal and Tasks tab here. This is the Google Sheets Goal Tracker 2.0. 
In order to start using it, you have to hit File, Make a Copy. Now we have our very own Gold Tracker 2.0. It is the exact same as the Excel Gold Tracker, except for a few differences. If you want to clear a task, you cannot select it all and hit delete. You will get a warning that you are trying to edit a part of the sheet that shouldn't be changed accidentally. Hit cancel. This is because this column shouldn't be deleted. So you could delete this and then go ahead and delete these. It is the same for these columns here. If you try to edit them, you will get a warning. If you don't already have a Gold Tracker 2.0, you can get one by heading over to shutupandachieve.com or clicking the link in the description box below. If you have any questions, you can contact me at layla at shutupandachieve.com.